everybody is saying it. You all have said it. I know you have. It seems to us that something happened to you mm. the moment uh, Joe Biden, President Biden, stepped aside and withdrew his candidacy, mm -hmm. that a veil or s something dropped and you just stepped into your power? I felt a sense of responsibility. Mm -hmm to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. um, and with that comes a sense of purpose. But I mean, we're all here and you all are taking time out of your busy lives, everyone here, everyone on the screen, because there really is so much at stake. We live in a country where 383,000 children have been exposed to gun violence. Now just sit with that number for a second. It's a number until it's your child. Mm -hmm. This is not normal, y'all. Yep. This is not normal, and this is not right. Other people in other countries do not have this issue. We, Americans, we have to do better. We have to do better. <laughs> we cannot continue to just settle for your our thoughts and prayers, lives are being destroyed right. when, when you said you have guns. No, at the debate. At the I'm, debate I'm when a you gun owner. Tim Walls is a gun. I did not know that. <laughs> if and somebody I thought that breaks was in my house, they're getting shot. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, yes. I, I, I hear that. I hear that. I probably should not have said that. <laughs> You know, I feel like it's interesting. We talk so much about being um, Americans united for something, but this has become such a, a global representation of our country and what we stand for. And I get to travel internationally a lot. Mm -hmm. And I want people to say, oh, you're American? <laughs> and not, oh, huh. <laughs> How's it going over there? You know? Yes. That, so I want to get back to that space. Exactly. I, Thank I, you, Julia. Exactly. Um, hello, President Harris. No. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 47 days. 47 days, yes. I think you're going to win. I'm sure you're going to win. I think. Yeah. But what happens when you win? Yeah. And he doesn't accept it. I have realized in the course of our campaign is that more Americans than we may realize who voted for Trump before have decided January 6th was just a bridge too far. It, when we reflect and think about what January 6th was, where the President of the United States, sitting in the Oval Office, incited a mob, a violent mob, to attack the United States Capitol, such that 140 law enforcement officers were injured, some were killed, to, to, to try and upend a free and fair election where the American people voted, that was a bridge too far for a lot of people. And we have sadly now seen how far he could go. And I think there is absolutely no tolerance whatsoever for the vast majority of Americans for that. And, and in that way, the consequences of this election are directly going to impact the American people and people around the world. That's what we're fighting for, and those are the stakes. And that's why we're going to win, because we know what we're fighting for, because we, we know what we stand for.